Today on Jason's Life in 5, we visit Disneyland in miniature in someone's backyard. Join me. Today, we are in Anaheim Hills in an unassuming neighborhood to check out, from what I understand, might be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Let's go in and take a look. Would you look at this? They have created Disneyland in their backyard, complete with trolley station and tiny skyway. Look, they've got characters riding the skyway, leading to the backyard. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Welcome to the Castle Peak and Thunder Railroad. They have created Disneyland in their backyard. Did you look at that? Flash Mountain, right next to the castle. Dried Rock. Down here is the Main Street train station. Out in front of the castle, got the band and all the princesses coming out for the party. Just below Splash Mountain, you will find a haunted mansion. Complete with tombstones and a little garden. Over here they have Indiana Jones and Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Indy and Marion, Ad Swordsman. Rapunzel's Tower, and Snow White's Cottage. Up on the hill, they've got the house with the balloons from up, and then up there is Beast Castle. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. So Katya is doing the scavenger hunt, trying to find all the different little characters out there. How many are on the list? We've got 60 Disney animated features and 20 Pixar, so lots of little hidden gems to find out there. Two times a year, the Shigog family has an open house to invite the general public to come and share in their wonderful creation. Tickets do go fast as it's a limited event. I'll leave information in the description. The level of detail in the creation is amazing. There's hidden gems everywhere. For example, in the droppings of this seagull, you'll find a hidden Mickey. Rainbow Caverns ride coming in 2018, 17, 16, 15. Well, coming soon. Casey Jr., Star Wars, and Spaceship Earth, all in the same place. They even themed the light refreshment area. Well, they've just deactivated the waterfalls, so it's time for the magic to be over. What did you think? So cool. Pretty much the neatest backyard I've ever seen, right? Yeah. All right, well, thanks for joining us for this episode of Jason's Life in Five, and we'll see you next time.